ICTV ขอเสนอรายการใครที่มีหูให้กับเบยิวันนี้ฉันไม่พูดอีกต่อไปแล้วว่าเป็นไปไม่ได้ Because I'm weak เพราะว่าฉันก็อ่อนแอ I'm flesh ฉันอยู่ในเนื้อหนัง And I know that if I say never, I will be tested. So my thing is all God. Has to be on me. Because I'm weak. 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 Someone very close to me. เป็นคนที่ใกล้ชิดฉันเห็นว่า I was a minister. I am a minister. I was then also. ตอนนั้นฉันก็เป็นผู้รับใช้พระเจ้าอยู่แล้ว And this person was also a minister of God. และอีกคนก็เป็นผู้รับใช้พระเจ้าเช่นเดียวกัน And this minister of God did something that is what I would say not accepted under the law. แล้วคนนี้ผู้รับใช้คนนี้ก็ได้ทำสิ่งที่แบบว่าไม่ไม่เป็นที่ยอมรับภายใต้กฎนะ Under the law ภายใต้กฎ Under the law ภายใต้กฎ You see we are no longer under the law but we are under grace Amen ต้องเข้าใจนะครับเราไม่ได้อยู่ภายใต้กฎนะครับแต่อยู่ใต้พระคุณของพระเจ้านะ Because if you are under the law ถ้าเกิดคุณอยู่ภายใต้กฎ And you make one mistake in one law ถ้าเกิดคุณทำผิดพลาดกฎไปแค่ครั้งเดียวแค่นั้น It's as if you just broke all the law มันก็เท่ากับว่าคุณได้ทำฝากหรือกฎทั้งหมดแล้ว Because the penalty of sin is death เพราะว่าโทษของความบาปนั้นคือความตาย Wow Ooh heavy ฮะหนักหน่อยนะครับ But I just want you to get set free แต่ว่าฉันอยากให้ผู้คุณได้เป็นอิสระ I want you to be able to walk a life where you are no longer reaping things that It's not necessary to reap. ฉันไม่อยากให้คุณเดินดำเนินชีวิตในการเก็บเกี่ยวในสิ่งที่คุณไม่ควรที่จะเก็บเกี่ยวกันเลย Anyway, at that time when I judged this friend of mine, ตอนที่ฉันพิพากษาเพื่อนคนนี้ในตอนนั้น This friend of mine, เพื่อนของฉันเองนะ A friend, เป็นเพื่อน Not only a friend, ไม่ใช่ว่าเป็นเพียงแค่เพื่อน But an anointed person of God, แต่ว่าเป็นผู้ที่ได้รับการเจิมจากพระเจ้า You know the Bible says, "Do not touch God's anointed." Don't touch God's anointed. So I went and I just went. Then I went to the doctor. Now, you know why I felt that I could make that judgment call. คุณรู้ไหมทำไมฉันมีความรู้สึกว่าฉันสามารถที่จะพูดอย่างนั้นไปได้ไหม Well, it's because this is what the Bible says. ฉันยกขึ้นมาเนี่ยแล้วก็มีเขียนไว้อย่างนี้ And 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 I see that this person didn't do what the Bible said. แต่ฉันก็เห็นว่าเขาไม่ได้ทำอย่างที่พระคัมภีร์เขียนไว้นี่ So I have a right to say something. ฉันก็เลยมีสิทธิ์ที่จะพูดอะไรสักอย่างไง Without knowing or understanding anything. โดยที่ไม่รู้และไม่เข้าใจชีวิตของเขาเลย Without โดยไร้ความเมตตา Without any understanding โดยไร้ความเข้าใจ Without any compassion โดยไม่มีความรักความเมตตาให้เขาเลย And also knowing in the back of my mind และรู้ลึกๆในใจว่า I would never do what they did ฉันจะไม่มีวันทำอย่างที่เธอทำหรอก Or else I wouldn't have made the judgment call right งั้นถ้าไม่คิดอย่างนั้นฉันก็คงไม่ได้ไปตัดสินชาวบ้านอย่างนั้นหรอก And guess what? แล้วทายสิอะไรเกิดขึ้น I'm already a minister of God. ตอนนั้นฉันเป็นผู้รับใช้ของพระเจ้าอยู่แล้ว One year after that. ปีหนึ่งให้หลัง The big test came. การทดสอบอันใหญ่นั้นได้มาถึงฉัน The same exact test that came to my friend. การทดสอบที่เกิดขึ้นกับเพื่อนของฉัน Which should never have come into my life. ซึ่งไม่น่ามาถึงชีวิตของฉันได้เลย In any way. Keep knocking on my door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock.
And you know what? I failed the test. The same test that my friend fell in. The same test that I judged my friend for. Came knocking on my door. Just as they failed the test, I failed the test. And you know what? I screamed. How can that be, God? How can that be? I am your child. I am a minister of God. And how can you let me fall into this thing? How could you just let it happen? And the Lord spoke to me in the midst of my crying because my whole life was destroyed from that one thing. God had built me up and I was moving with him in ministry and just going and I could have but one day the test came to me and boom everything gone so I cried out to God what happened and he spoke to me he says do you remember a year ago when you judged your friend you put this on yourself to have to be judged. And that day I got on my face and I repented. And I said, God, please. I have judged so many people in my heart, not even out of my mouth, but in my heart, the way I look at people. And I said, God, I can't bear to have to go through judgment like this. And you know what the Lord told me? My grace is sufficient for you. After a while, well, not a while, few, many years, all the judgments and all the bad sowing that I did, it finally was over. But from that time that I got down and repented before God, it took about five years to get done with all of my reaping. And His grace was sufficient for me. So the scripture goes on to say in verse 3, uh, I, I, let me just read to you just one more time, uh, Matthew, okay? Um, what we just read through so you can hear the scripture again. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? But do not consider the plank in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, Let me remove the speck from your eye. And look, a plank is in your own eye. Now the next scripture, this is important. He goes on to say, hypocrite. Hypocrite. You see, when we judge people, 
were called hypocrites. Can you imagine, would you like that name to be plastered over your face? Hypocrite. He goes on to say, hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. So we see here that judging others is not a Christian personality. Because there's really truly only one judge. Only one. And his name is Jesus. So I want to tell you how to deal with issues when issues come up and they bother you. The first thing you need to do is have three things before you make a judgment call go like this <laughs> no. <laughs> shake it out of your mind and, 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 and seek God for mercy, understanding and compassion in every situation look for that look for that first amen because this is what the Bible says about those that are merciful. In Matthew 5, 7, was one of the scriptures that Robert preached last week. It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. You see, do you want mercy from God? Yeah, yeah, everybody say, I want mercy from God. Yes, we all want mercy from God. If you want mercy from God, then you must first be merciful. Amen? Because the Bible says, one, this is what I just read to you, says that you will be blessed if you're merciful. Have mercy. You know, okay, all the time, I'm a minister of God. But you know what? I'm this kind of minister. This is how Robert and I are. Crucified by the church. Or people who uh, get uh, judged by the church. All the people who have fallen. All the people that have sinned against God and have and, and have nobody. They all come running to me. And Robert, you know why? Because we open our arms to them. We are not there to go. Nee, 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 nee. I am called to do only one thing. It's to bring restoration back to those who are lost. But I see so many churches and so many Christians just kill their brothers and sisters when they do something that is wrong. Because they are not 